Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today I wanted to talk about something something aggravating to me, something that's been bugging me a little bit, but I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about. There has been some spurts of it, usually smaller creators, but you don't really see any of the bigger media outlets covering this, which is weird to me because money. And anyways, uh, I like to give you a little rundown of me. So I'm a gamer. I play on all the systems. I uh, always have, always will. Always looked up to game execs um, like Satoru Iwata, Rezi Fizume, Phil Spencer, Kazurai. Uh, who else do we have? Eh, there's some more, probably. But these companies all have one thing in common. And that's to make as much money as humanly possible. And doing so, they kind of ruin a lot of their message. And what I mean that, if you take a look at companies like EA, Activision Blizzard, Ubisoft, Konami, all, every one of them, basically, they're all in some kind of trouble right now. If you can take a look on the news outlets, well, mainly gaming outlets, and there's always going to be some kind of story about one of these big publishers fucking up some way. Well, this one's really strange because, again, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this, except for a couple, and it seems like it's being pushed under the rug. And that is just this past weekend, I believe it was actually, I believe it was December the 3rd, uh, when it was posted, a lead... Sony VP of PlayStation Network, he was just terminated. But you're just like, ah, oh, people get terminated all the time. What's, what's, what's the big deal? Well, this is why he got terminated. You see, there is an, actually a uh, a channel called People vs. Preds. Basically, they're kind of like the internet's version of Chris Anson's. Uh, if you guys remember Cats of Predator, where they went after child pred, um, you know, pedophiles, basically. Yeah, those. Well, George Kakiopo, Kakiopo, George Kakiopo, Cockboy, actually got caught trying to solicit, solicit sex from a 15-year-old boy. Uh-oh, oh, oh. And the funny thing is, is he was wearing a PlayStation 5 shirt whenever he was trying to do this. Now, there is video out there, and I'm not going to... I probably won't show it here because I don't know if this will get banned. What is in my beard? Anyway, mustache, whatever. But it's kind of crazy because you don't see a lot of people in the industry talking about it. Now, I know... Uh, I watched a video, I think it was Yellow Flash 2, I think... Um, I guess IGN possibly tried to put it under the rug saying it's not gaming news, which it was. Kotaku reported on it. There's a few other outlets. Well, mainly it's been smaller channels, but it seems like they don't want this to get out. Now, I don't know if it's because they're getting money on the back end, which it probably is. Getting money from the back end, from these publishers, and, you know... They don't want to ruin their reputation with them by, you know, showing the bad that comes out of this. Like I said, right now there's a lot of people in the gaming industry that's in a lot of trouble right now. And the last thing you need is this. Definitely don't want this. Luckily, he's been fired, which he should should be. Uh, there's other things I would say is maybe staple his dick to a barn door and catch it on fire and hand him a rusted knife and say... Have at you and walk away. That's actually pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Should shouldn't be doing that. That's a protected. That's a protected people. Protected group of people. You cannot make fun of the pedophiles on the internet. You will get scrubbed. Wait, I'm going to anyways. I don't care. I hate it. It's stupid. You know, there's there's a few things in this life I hate. I hate rapists, thieves, and pedophiles, and racist. Okay, there's four things. There's probably more than four things, but that's four things I can think of right now. Maybe I could like cheaters. But pedophile is pretty high up there, and I fuck off, okay? And I know there are some uh, groups of people that want to make pedophiles 
kind of blend in with the LGBTQ community, in which I'm pretty sure the LGBTQ community... Ah, it's so hard to get off the tongue. There's so many letters. Um, I'm sure they don't care about that either. Like, I, I'm sure they do not want that in their community, which good for them, which is awesome. But yeah, yeah, there's um, Pedal Boy in the PlayStations. <laughs> so you better be looking on your networks and locking that shit up. As of my, my bad excuse of a joke there. That was 2007 joke. It's uh, it's over. I know. I try, but yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. Uh, Sony did make a response. So we are aware of the situation, and the employee in question has been terminated from employment as Sony uh, official. Uh, again, his name is George Cassiopo or something like that. He's senior vice president of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Whoa. In the video, uh, the actual channel guy, I guess the guy that runs the channel, goes up to his house, and the guy was wanting to meet a 15-year-old boy, and he told him to wait outside, and so he did. And when he got confronted, he walked into his house and tried to hide. But now he's fired, which is great. Should happen a lot. Should happen a lot. Now we should get we should get hold of uh, a few other Bobby Kotick, he, Bobby Kotick, Bobby 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 Kotick, Bobby Kotick. How, why is it so hard to say that? And you know, like throw him out. And you throw the EA guys out. We just need to find a dirty laundry on these execs and be like, get the fuck out of there with this shit. Now I thought maybe he would have got forced to retire which we don't know the complete details on the firing in general we don't know these details as far as we know it's sony said they're fired now we don't know if there was a contract there which that was obligated to fulfill maybe gave him his money and told him to leave in their best interest and just said it was a firing that's a good possibility you see that a lot in a lot of companies good example was actually in my high school we had somebody, I won't give any names, we had a teacher, but liked to touch other girls and teachers, and he was forced to retire. He wasn't fired, he was forced to retire. So he got all his shit, and he, now he's a missionary and goes across the land trying to convert Jewish people into Christianity. He got his retirement, got everything. So I, I do not have respect for people like that. I don't care what you say i have zero respect for people like that and it does it, it makes me wonder how long this has been going on and how many people on that end knew this i mean vp is a pretty big position so there's a good possibility things have been happening that other people knew we don't know how long he's been doing this we just know he has been doing this we don't know if there's other people working for these companies that are doing the same thing, which I highly bet they do. I guarantee it happens. And I hate to be the one to be like, oh, I hate a certain group of people, which I do. I, I, I do. I don't like pedophiles. I do not like rapists. I do not like racists. <sighs> you, you know, you, you, that's where you overstep your bounds a little bit. Just a little bit. I just think the irony was the fact that he was wearing a PlayStation 5 shirt. So that's not good for branding at all. At all. Which that's probably why the, uh, the news of this hasn't really been more mainstream. Which hopefully it does. But I'm sure Sony is trying to stop that from happening. It's like we don't want some pedophile on... You know the internet uh, vice president you know support showing our logo our brand this is bad this is really bad this is a whole lot worse than you would think it, it's it's pretty bad <laughs> i guess he he had a grinder app so he was on grinder and uh, i don't know what to say i don't know you play 
stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And that's all I have to say about it. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Sorry, this is another one of those videos. It's just bad. It's so bad. Um, I, I, I hope there's more that comes out about this. Um, I would like to see more come out about this, actually. Like, a whole lot more. I want to know how long this has been going on. How many other people that are involved. If any, I'm not saying there is. But I'm not saying there isn't. Because it happens. There's a lot of weird things going on in, you know, that part. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon.